Hello everyone, this is Ralph from Ralph's Trucking. I've been a truck driver for 24 years. Here it is, 1st of February, 2024. Let's talk about different kinds of company drivers and what would you be looking for? Let's talk about it. So cue that intro. <laughs> Okay, there's a couple different types of company drivers. There is dri company drivers that are paid 1099, which is really against the law because Like I said, 1099, they do not pay taxes. I know you're supposed to pay your taxes, your Social Security, your Medicare, your state tax, your local tax, if you have any. And also, self-employment tax, because you're self-employed. All right. So, my deal is, I've always been a W-2 employee. There's different types of jobs. What do you want? Do you want to drive in, reefer, flatbed, oversized, tanker, home delivery, etc. Just whatever you know you want per the person they do. Some drivers are just want to do flatbed. Some drivers just want to do f vans or reefers. To me, a reefer is just a glorified van with a motor on the front. For the most part, you set the temperature and you forget it. You just check it, make sure fuel's in the tank. Very plain and simple. Now there's different kinds of jobs. What's available in your area? Do you wanna be home daily, weekly, monthly, bi-weekly? It's something you need to decide before you go job looking. I did the home weekly for 34 and out the door at Ashley Furniture. It got old after seven years, but it, it's up to you what you want to do. I personally like to be home several days when I go home. So I'm out three weeks. I go home for four or five days. No questions asked. Now there's <coughs> the different types of, like even Ashley Furniture, there's point to point, which I did, you no touch. Then they have LTL, less than truck load. Those guys had five, 10, 15 stops, and they had to tailgate all the furniture. Over here, there's McLean unloading. He has who knows how many stops. He has to touch every piece of bringing inside the restaurants. Is that something you want? Yeah, they're paying more for doing the physical work. I'm an oversized old man. I can, my back can't handle unloading trucks all the time. Now there's takers. You have to worry about pumping on and all that. Flatbed, you had a lot of flatbedders, you have to tarp in all kind of weather. Wind, rain, snow, depends on what you want to do. It's up to you. What I did when I left Ashley Furniture and I didn't get hired at Walmart, which I wasn't going to go take the job anyway, but I'm not talking about Walmart. Uh, I did searched for a week before I came to Tyson Je uh, Foods. I was offered this job Monday night, Tuesday morning. I didn't accept this job until Thursday night. So Friday morning, she could set up my rental car to drive to orientation for be out there Monday morning. But I went to all the different companies around that was hiring. Uh, you could do Google searches. There's trucking search engines to find a different kinds of jobs. And after I came here to Tyson and I was driving home, I got at least three different phone uh, interview uh, job offers to go to different cup companies. I wasn't gonna wait three, four weeks for another job. I needed to get back to work. Tyson has been a good company to me. Now, 
on the job search, I also looked at what's the retirement. I'm 50 years, 51 years old now. So I need to have better retirement. What's their health insurance? I have health issues. I have diabetes. I have blood pressure. I have sleep apnea. My wife just had a total knee replacement two years ago. So there's things medically. So I need to have good medical insurance. I needed to have good retirement. I needed to have a company that was flexible on home time. I wanted a company that had newer equipment. Some companies will have a refrigerator, an APU, and the trucks for you. I know Heartland Express, there at one time, they didn't even allow power inverters unless it plugged into the cigarette lighter. Here I have a 1500, 1800 watt power inverter built into the truck. It's in my side box. That can run a microwave, run TVs, my sleep at me machine. Things like that are important. Driver comfort is important to me. I'm out here three, four weeks at a time. It all depends. I go home like on a Thursday, I come back on on a Tuesday. I wanted somebody who wasn't going to take my truck and drive that five days when I'm home. I like not having slip seat. That's the main <clears throat> main reason why I quit Ashley. They put a smoker in my truck when I was home for vacation when my wife had her knee replaced. Yeah. I have uh, asthma. That tore me up. And then I ended up catching COVID, but I don't can't tell if it was from him or not. But I caught COVID a week later. So, what are things that are important to you? Like I said, me it was a W-2 employee. A, uh, a job that had good benefits, health insurance, life insurance, a job that had great stock purchase, stocks, retirement. Here I'm allowed to put $25 a week in Tyson Food stock. Since I made my one over a year, which it might raise up at two, I put $25 a week in stocks. They put $6.25 into the stock market for me. And my 401k they match up to a certain percentage you know 50 cents to the dollar or whatever they put money in my retirement every week Ashley Furniture they just put profit sharing in once a year they gave you I think 40% of that cash and 60% went into your retirement fund so it is up to you what do you want me personally like I said it's benefits retirement the, type, the kind of trucks, newer trucks, etc. Like I said, I've been driving for 24 years. I would have been, I have been with smaller companies, and I've been with multi you know, mega carriers. I've been with Warner. I've been with cargo transporters, inter, uh, interstate distributors, uh, which got bought out by Heartland Express. I've been with Ashley Furniture and now Tyson Foods. The last two has been Private Fleet. And Private Fleet treats the drivers a lot better, in my opinion. If you can get a job as a, in a Private Fleet, do it. If they meet your criteria, do it. The benefits are usually better. And the pay is usually better. And the way they treat the drivers. Been here at Tyson Foods two years, end of February of 2024 it'd be two years i have yet pull a brokered load every load i picked up was either going or coming from or going back to a tyson foods they had no problem they had you 700 miles to get another tyson food load instead of sitting around and picking up joe blow freight they haul their own stuff like i said it's up to you what do you want to do but do your due diligence. Talk to other drivers if you can find drivers. Go online and see what's available in your area. There is so many job search engines for your area. They'll give you, a, you can break it down to what's available, 25, 50, 100 miles, 200 miles. And then from there, see what they offer for home time, pay, benefits, retirement. Right now, it's a driver's market right now to find a good, you know, good jobs. Companies are now pushing over 60 cents a mile. Some companies aren't. It's up to you. Tyson Foods just got a three cent raise. 
If you have a three years experience over the road, I think it's 64 cents a mile plus $15 a load. That adds up. So do your diligence. Try not to stay away from the 1099 employees and then see how they pay. Do you want to get paid by the mile? Some companies offer a flat rate. Other company offer you a percentage. It's up to you. What do you want to do? If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Have a great day. Ralph's trucking out.